moon. The full moon in Pisces is typically called the harvest moon. The first full moon in September, excuse me, because this deals with harvesting of the grain, preparation for the winter season, preparation for the fall season. When you think of the sun, the sun is in Virgo, all right? Now, in tropical astrology, when the sun is in Virgo, well, in, in sidereal and in Joyotish as well, when the sun is in Virgo, this is right before the sun goes in the Libra season. Now, astrostatics shows us, yeah, everything that I'm saying is in this beautiful 500-page book. Make sure y'all pick up a copy right now. Because astrostatic shows us that Virgo deals with the common ground of mankind, the common ground of humanity. This is why Virgos are so chill. They're so practical. Astrostatic shows us that Virgo also rules practicalities. And we're going to get more into this. This is right before it enters the fall season. The fall. And when the sun goes into Libra, Libra is where we have the fall season now remember we also have beautiful videos where we mentioned that aries is the start and libra is that midway point that balances the seasons and aries does too so aries and libra both deal with balancing but in different ways Aries deals with a balancing of the self, while Libra deals with a balancing of others. But when the sun is in Aries and when the sun is in Libra, either place is in the same place, which is by the equator. All right. So Aries and Libra, we would refer to them in astrostatics as the equatorial signs to a degree, because they govern the equator from different perspectives. So Aries is considered the beginning of the Zodiac, whereas Libra being across from Aries is considered that midway point of relativity. But we're talking about Libra because Virgo is the sign before Libra. All right. And when the sun is in Virgo, this is the time of the harvest moon. Where you want to prepare and get ready for the fall season. So what you'll notice, Virgo, the full moon in September being called the harvest moon. And this is when all your crops should be ready to go, son. You should be ready to get your crops ready. Because you should have done all your planting around March or around April right you if you did some late planting in the summertime depending on what type of crops you have they could be ready during virgo season this is when you really know what you're working with and astrostatics shows us that virgo deals with our work virgo deals with your work on a routine basis and astrostatics and yeah make sure y'all pick up astrostatics right now because this is what we're gonna be well everything that i'm saying is in this book so make sure y'all pick up a copy right now because y'all know y'all love it. I know y'all love what y'all hearing. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> that ass. All right. So look, Virgo, and we reading out of page 107 on Astrostatics. Make sure you get it. Virgo deals with the earth, reality, critics. Listen, Virgos are the, Virgos is the critics. You hear me? When you hear Virgos going in, you don't want a Virgo breaking you down. Because Virgo deals with detail. Remember we said Virgo deals with practicality. This is the maiden preparation. Getting you ready for the season. For the fall. Alright? So there is a strong healing element that goes with Virgo as well. Now Virgo also deals with, with basic things, right? Basics. The practicality. Virgo is the also the humanitarian. And this is a connection with Virgo, Leo, and Aquarius. These three signs are very dope with philanthropy, philanthropic efforts, and humanitarianism. Virgo also deals with patience, lifestyle, podcasting, 
I'll share going to easycomplex.com, amazon.com, barnesnobles.com. Check out the description of this video and pick up a copy of the 500 page sensation Astro Aesthetics, Aesthetics of Astrology. Thank you. All right, so 